a complex number z is said to be a unimodular complex number z is said to be a unimodular if modulus of z equals to 1 suppose z1 and z2 are complex numbers such that z1 minus 2 z2 by 2 minus z1 into z2 conjugate is unimodular and z2 is not a unimodular then the point z1 lies on so that means he is asking us the locus of z1 so the four options are given circle of radius 2 circle of radius root 2 and a straight line parallel to x axis straight line parallel to y axis okay one second we'll read the question a complex number z is said to be unimodular so if modulus of z equals to 1 then the complex number is said to be a unimodular okay he has given a condition that means I have one definition and z1 and z2 are the complex numbers such that so he has given a condition z1 minus 2 z2 by 2 minus z1 into z2 conjugate is unimodular so that means when this is said to be unimodular the given condition if the modulus of the condition z2 minus 2 sorry z1 minus okay z1 minus 2 z2 by 2 minus z1 into z2 conjugate is a unimodular so that means if the conjugate what is if the modulus of the given condition is 1 why because if the modulus of a complex number is 1 then it is a unimodular so the given is also be a unimodular if its modulus equals to 1 okay so this is the condition and z2 is not a unimodular what he has given another condition z2 the mod of z2 not equals to 1 okay equals to 1 unimodular if it is not equals to 1 it is not a unimodular now he has given the condition and asking us to find the what is the locus of z1 okay here the condition he has given it as z1 mod of z1 minus 2 z2 by 2 minus z1 into z2 conjugate is 1 if we square this okay whenever a modulus of in a problem he has given modulus of a complex number is 1 first of all we need to square that one if we square that one then what we'll get so the square is nothing changes the square is also 1 then we can write it as mod z whole square as z into z conjugate okay the mod z whole square as z into z conjugate now we can write this is as z1 minus 2z2 by 2 minus z1 into z2 conjugate this term is multiplied by its conjugate okay the total number z1 minus 2 z2 by 2 minus z1 into z2 conjugate whole conjugate equals to 1 okay now which is in the form of the properties what it is z1 by z2 whole conjugate z1 by z2 whole conjugate what is the z1 by z2 whole conjugate which is equals to z1 conjugate by z2 conjugate numerator by denominator whole conjugate equals to numerator conjugate by denominator conjugate then we can write this is as z1 minus 2 z2 by 2 minus z1 into z2 conjugate into so now what it is z1 minus 2 z2 okay z1 minus 2 z2 whole conjugate by what it is 2 minus 2 minus z1 into z2 conjugate whole conjugate equals to 1 okay we have this z1 plus z2 whole conjugate can be written as z1 conjugate plus z2 conjugate now we can write this is as what it is z1 minus 2 z2 by 2 minus z1 into z2 conjugate into the numerator for the next term is written as z1 conjugate minus 2 times of z2 conjugate by directly i am writing the denominator which is nothing but 2 minus and here we have z1 z2 whole conjugate which can be written as z1 conjugate into z2 equals to 1 okay just use the properties as z1 plus z2 whole conjugate equals to z1 conjugate into z2 conjugate 
and z1 into z2 whole conjugate is z1 conjugate into z2 conjugate and any complex number conjugate and its conjugate is simply the complex number itself now here we obtain z2 conjugate whole conjugate as z2 itself now just simply cross multiply this what we'll get over here so z1 minus 2z2 into numerators z1 conjugate minus 2z2 okay z1 conjugate minus 2z2 conjugate okay equals to now this denominator the product is cross multiplied okay then we'll get it as 2 minus z1 z2 conjugate into 2 minus z1 conjugate into z2 okay now try to simplify this what we'll get if we simplify this so the for lhs can be written as z1 into z1 conjugate minus 2 into z1 into z2 conjugate minus 2 into z1 conjugate into z2 minus into minus plus 4 into z2 into z2 conjugate okay whereas rhs equals to plus 4 okay minus what it is 2 into z1 conjugate into z2 conjugate minus now here 2 into z1 into z2 conjugate okay okay over here what it is z2 into z1 conjugate into z2 okay 2 into z1 conjugate into z2 okay we can write this as 2 into z1 conjugate into z2 and minus 2 into z1 into z2 conjugate and then write it as plus what it is z1 into z1 conjugate z2 into z2 conjugate now the product of these two results as z1 into z1 conjugate z2 into z2 conjugate now if we try to simplify this what we'll get so we have over here it is in the lhs and rhs minus 2 z1 conjugate z2 minus 2 z1 conjugate z2 and minus 2 z1 into z2 conjugate minus 2 z1 into z2 conjugate these will cancel out okay this will cancel out and then next we can write this is as so z1 into z1 conjugate what it is mod z1 whole square okay so next what it is z2 into z2 conjugate plus 4 times of mod z2 whole square equals to now rhs is 4 plus okay 4 plus what it is the z1 into z1 conjugate so mod z1 whole square into mod z2 whole square mod z1 whole square into mod z2 whole square so if we take this into the lhs side we can write it as mod z1 whole square plus 4 times of mod z2 whole square minus 4 minus mod z1 square into mod z2 square equals to 0 okay so if we take what it is z1 square as a common okay now i am taking the z1 square from these two as a common okay now i am writing these two as separate what i can write it as z1 square minus 4 as the over here and if i take what it is 4 as a common over here if we take 4 so 4 mod z2 square as a common then we will get what it is so for 1 minus what it is z1 square okay now take only the z2 square as a common okay take z2 square as a common then we will obtain mod z2 square as a common then we will get 4 minus mod z1 square equals to zero if we further simplify this so what it is mod z1 square minus 4 and if we take minus as a common then we will get it as mod z1 square minus 4 into mod z2 square equals to 0 then now take mod z1 square minus 4 as a common then what we'll get mod z1 square minus 4 if we take as a common then we will get it as 1 minus mod z2 square equals to 0 okay 1 minus mod z2 square equals to 0 so from this one 
we can write it is ice okay from this one we can write this is ice which is equals to mod z1 square minus 4 equals to 0 or what is another condition mod what is uh, okay 1 minus 1 minus mod z2 square equals to 0 okay from this one we can write it as mod z1 square equals to 4 okay now from this one we can write it as mod z2 square equals to 1 okay so we can write this as mod z2 square equals to 1 means we will obtain mod z2 equals to 1 okay mod z2 equals to 1 and from this one let z1 equals to some complex number x plus i y okay z1 equals to some complex number x plus i y and we can write it as what is mod of z1 mod of z1 is square root of x square plus y square and the square of this one mod z1 square so we can write this is as x square plus y square equals to 2 square which is in the form of x square plus y square equals to r square which is a what is equation of a circle okay which is the equation of circle having the center as 0 0 circle equation center as 0 0 and radius is equals to 2 the radius is equals to 2 and in the question he has given that what he has given in the question so in the question he has given that mod z2 equals to 1 we obtain but in the question he has given that the mod z2 is not equals to 1 so the mod z2 equals to 1 is should not consider and finally we are obtaining it is as mod z1 square equals to 4 which is nothing but so mod z1 square equals to 2 square which is the equation of a circle having the radius as okay having the radius as 2 okay so this is the locus of a circle problem on the locus of a circle then what is the correct answer the option a is the correct answer i think you understand this so how to solve the locus of a circle thank you